Good morning, Gideon. How good, are you? Good morning, guys. As you can see, we're wide awake. <laughs> yeah. We got in about 15 minutes ago because yeah. of the, uh, the traffic. So, nice traffic. Uh, <laughs> Just had time to make a cup of tea and not prepare anything, so that's perfect. Yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, uh, so what is Good Morning Gillenor? So Good Morning Gillenor is uh, a morning show, obviously. Well, for us it is anyway. Maybe for you guys it's not, but anyway. Uh, a morning show which I decided to try out. This is our seventh episode. Um, it's a morning show we're going to recap everything that's been happening in the past month. In this case, two months because... We didn't do one, we didn't in, February. Do one in February. Sorry, because guys. Because of Game Blast. Sorry about that. And... Uh, yeah, so we've got a few different features, yep. which are, for example, Bug of the Month, which is uh, something that you guys seem to enjoy quite a lot. We also have uh, some community features. Yeah, and some of our, uh, some of our JMods taking on uh, the mighty QBD uh, in, uh, in our yeah. speedrun challenge. Uh, Mod Shawnee will be taking speed on... Speedrun challenge, because yeah. uh, the gear is quite limited, so uh, a lot of you think that they do bad times because of the fact that they... Do, but the, the times aren't very impressive, but you need to bear in mind the gear isn't that impressive either. So, uh. Yeah, so Mod Shawnee is taking it on today, and we've also got some exclusive teasers for you. Um, we showed a couple of the um, God Wars um, rewards yeah. uh, last night uh, in, the, in the dev Q&A, but we have the last two for you, and we'll be showing those for you a little bit later on. So I yeah. uh, hope you're looking forward to that those. That's a couple of other things that even Shawnee doesn't know what we're showing, so we're expecting some nice little Shawnee reactions there. Yeah, so get your GIF <laughs> capture things ready. Cause, Shawnee, uh, who is chuckling away in the background right now. <laughs> As is usual, just hear yourself. Um, but if you have any questions for Shawnee, because he'll be on the sofas in about five or so minutes or so, put them in the chat. Uh, we'll collect some of them up and we'll give them to him in a little quick fire Q&A session uh, when he's on the sofas. So uh, yeah. chuck them in the chat now. Uh, and uh, But we will move on to our news in brief. News in brief. So this section, we just go through different things that have been happening in the RuneScape world in the past, well, two months in this case. Yes. I think the main one that happened for us was Game Blast. So for those of you who didn't tune in, I think that you probably all did because we have saw a <laughs> massive amount of viewers, which is really great. Um, Game Blast is a charity uh, event, 24-hour charity event that we run every year, uh, where we support a charity called Special Effect, which helps uh, disabled gamers yep. play games, which is absolutely brilliant. Yep. Uh, and this year, we thought we'd try and notch it up, a, uh, put it up a notch from, from previous years. So uh, we got the amazing Dave Benson Phillips uh, oh, into yeah. the studios uh, to gunge some of our J-Mods when we reached certain milestones. He was really good. Uh, I was he, really, was, he was really good. Like, he was just a natural showman, wasn't he? Yeah, he was brilliant. Uh, we also got um, our J-Mods to take part in some challenges against some, um, some celebrity players. Uh, so John's underestimated the, the heat of his tea there. <laughs> Five minutes. Uh, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, that, they were really, really awesome as well. We'll show you some pictures in a, in a sec. Um, but we also did um, a lot of things on the, on the PCs as well. You might remember Boaty nearly losing uh, one, billion, what, one, it, one bill. One bill. One bill of old school, old school which money. Which is a lot. For those um, of you who don't know, it's about the equivalent of five bill or yeah. four bill, something like yeah. that. And uh, what they told me anyway. to, to top it all off, um, in fact, no, should we show, should we show some pictures yeah, first? Yeah, show some pictures. Some pictures. Um, so here are some of our highlights from Game Blast. <laughs> so here's Kelpie getting a party hat haircut. So this was one of our milestones that we kind of, that we set. So yep. different JMods set different milestones. And for example, I think it was like, if we reached 20,000 pounds. I think it was 10. 10,000, it was very generous. 10,000 pounds, he got this haircut. He kept it for about a week. Uh, which is like, good on him, really. He looked like a monk when he didn't have the gel in his hair. It was hilarious. Um, yeah. But not quite as hilarious as Ronan's haircut, which I don't think we have a picture of, but it was just, it was just awful. Like, they just <laughs> Ronan, hacked yeah. at his hair, basically. Yeah, basically, put a bowl, a bowl on his head and cut around it as brilliant. Yeah. So we've got three old school streamers. That's Tom, uh, Skidler, and uh, Ian, Ian Span. Span, who are raising some money. Yeah, they did I, a br brilliant job. Uh, all the streamers that took part in the, in the, in the streaming parts of... Uh, our live stream were brilliant. Yeah, so, and uh, one of my highlights was Skidler trying out that chili uh, oh, and yeah. uh, his reaction afterwards as well. So, so his, uh, what was this? This was one of the, this is the smoothie challenge. Oh, smoothie challenge, The smoothie of challenge, that's Mod, Mod Luna and Mod Lion. Um, they're putting together our smoothies. Um, one of them, and Mod Shawnee in the background as well, he's pointing to himself yeah. on the screen. Um, <laughs> A but, lovely profile shot of Mod Shawnee in the background. Yeah, uh, and they were awful. I mean, the, actually, to be fair, the one, uh, the one that J-Mods had to have was slightly, I think, better than the one that I the players had to better. have. They didn't have a lot of luck, the players, in the challenges. And no. uh, they, I think if you watch back, Actually, there were a few of them that could have gone either way. Um, the J mods actually whitewashed the players, which was a bit of a shame because we were hoping it was going to be a bit more of a, of a challenge for the for the competitive J mods. Yeah, but, but to be fair, the J mods always had a slight advantage in what they did. So yeah, not not purposefully, by the way, not purposefully. No. 
<coughs> so Vincent there is more Dolan. Dolan getting gunged yep. in pink glittery gunge, and that was uh, Dave Benson first, who's just behind him there. I, I love how it's actually the same colour as his hair, <laughs> because he he was also uh, he also dyed his hair for, for charity. Well, he dyed it shocking pink, uh, and uh, yeah, it, it actually matched the gunge, which was a, which was a nice uh, customization on his it part. It's a bit weird because uh, the day before he dyed it, um, he would bleached it so that it was completely white, so that the pink would come out really well. So like, you. You kind of had got the impression he was going to have a different hair colour every day of the week. It was a bit weird. I think he's changed his hair colour twice since then as well. I so. think, yeah, he's changed it to black or something now. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, that's the J-Mods winning the, I think it was the smoothie challenge, but possibly the chilli challenge. Smoothie challenge. Smoothie challenge, yeah, you got milk. Oh no, it's also could be valid for the uh, Yeah, chilies. so again, yeah, the J-Mods won. Ramen in the background yesterday, who was uh, on form on stream yesterday. And there is also Pandora in the background, I can see on the, on the left-hand side, struggling a little bit, I think, with, <laughs> with what was actually about half a tub of Marmite in a smoothie. Which, I mean, I think sounds quite nice, but... Yeah, well, says the guy holding a Marmite mug. Mm. This is Mod Mac eating uh, some chilli-flavoured pork scratchings, I believe. Yeah, with some horrendous hot sauce on it. And that's probably my favourite picture, actually, <laughs> from Game Blast. I think I, I just love the expression on, on Mod Mark's face. Yeah. <laughs> Just to say that Monk Mark was also suffering quite a lot at that point because he'd been yeah. drinking hot sauce as well. Yeah. Uh, there's Boti taking part in the chair race. Yeah, and Mod uh, Osborne's expression in the background is also one of my favourites. It should have been on the boat, to be fair, not yeah. on the chair, but anyway. There's uh, the old school streamers. You've got uh, Ian Spam, Boti, and Skill Specs, who are, I believe, just ready to have an interview. Uh, so yeah. they did a streamer interview where people could ask some questions and stuff, which was really good. Yeah. And skill another specs. one of my favourite pictures, there's uh, Skill Specs uh, after having one of the hottest chilies in the world. Um, um, and to quote his exact word, <laughs> Yeah, if you want to see that one, um, because you can't quite describe how, what that noise is. John did quite a good job actually, <laughs> but if you can't quite describe it, check out the highlights video because it's got all of the, the best bits in it and uh, including some of this sumo as well. Um, Mod Campbell had to do quite a lot of different things over the course of the 24 hours. So he had to eat a chili, he had to eat the horrible, smelly fish stuff, uh, did all the challenges. But he said the thing that hurt the most was actually uh, Mod Osborne giving him an elbow drop. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> well, to be fair, he wasn't being very kind to him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's, that's got some of our highlights from Game Blast. Again, you can check out the YouTube video, uh, and I think it's still on our Twitch Pass broadcast as well, if you it want to watch the full 24 hours. Pass, yeah. um, but we raised $150,000 for uh, Special Effect, which so was is, phenomenal. So about 100, uh, 100, pounds? Yeah, 108,000, 108, I think. pounds. Yeah. Um, Absolutely brilliant. That smashed our record from last year threefold, actually. Yep. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, thank you to everybody who donated, who watched, and who took part as well. You're all fantastic. Enough said about that. Though. Yes. Uh, so we have been doing other things. Yes, uh, and one of those things is God Wars Two, a little a little known thing called God Wars Two. What's that? Yeah, well, I haven't heard of that yet. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, if you haven't heard of God Wars Two, uh, there are some. Um, you can check out the dev Q and A yesterday on our past broadcast, and you can also check out um, some of our videos um, that we've made on our YouTube channel as well. Yeah, I'm sure the Watch are making enough noise about it, to, mm. so that everybody in the world knows about this, not just Runescapers. Um, so that God Wars 2 is basically a successor of God Wars 1. It's not going to delete God Wars 1 in any way. And it's just uh, going to be some new bosses, new factions, and some new combat for you guys. Yeah. Um, but um, one of the things that we did do, uh, which is the first time we've ever done it, was a, a special art animation stream. Uh, we got Modest yeah. Duo um, onto the PCs, and he actually showed animating the Zamorak um, general that you'll be meeting next yeah, so week in our Dev Q&A. Yes, one of our two Twin Furies. So, and it's really, really interesting. It's one of the, the YouTube videos that we've actually had one of the most like positive feedback from. So yeah, if you'd was, like I, to see- I really enjoyed it, it was brilliant. Yeah. Uh, just big shout out to Studio because you did a yeah. really great job there. Yeah. And if, if you want to see any more of those, let us know what kinds of things you'd like to see and we'll see what we can do. Because uh, I personally thought it was really interesting and really yeah. valuable to people who are looking to get into the industry as well. So. Um, yeah, if you want any more of those, let myself or John know. So at JagXJD on Twitter or uh, Jag at JagXJohn. Um, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Definitely. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd really like to do some, uh, like even just like some live drawing ones. Like, I've seen Legend Arts do some. I've seen uh, Smith Goes, Goes Wild do yep. some uh, on, on Twitch. And I think they go down really well. Um, I really enjoy watching them anyway. So mm. I'd really enjoy watching some of our artists do it as well. So 
maybe share some tricks to the trade, that sort yep. of stuff. And just general things, I mean, I'd really like to do one with a, de a developer, just like live developing stuff. I was told that was a bit harder. <laughs> but, so, um, yeah, ben, we'll see. Benheim9001 says, when does this come out again? Well, uh, I think that we have said that it comes out in March. I don't think we've been any more specific than that. Yeah. So you've kind of got two weeks where it could possibly be now. I think. Yeah. So, we'll uh, let you guess, but yeah, I, think we'll let you guess. I think you know the answer. Given that we have another dev Q&A next week on the second set of bosses, I would say it's a fairly safe assumption that it's, well, I'll let, we'll let you figure it out. <laughs> um, but we have some teasers from last week's dev Q&A from the environments. Um, they are looking absolutely stunning. So I believe this is just the general area. So this isn't one of the, this isn't one area dedicated to any of the different uh, factions. I think it's just like a general fight area. I might be wrong about that. And this is just like some some of the different environments you can see. I really love the uh, the big blue hexagon thing. That's just, I don't know. It's not a hexagon. It's an octagon, isn't it? Uh, it's an octagon. Yeah. It's an octagon. So I really like the big uh, octagons on the top. I think they look really pretty. I wanted to try and use them to do uh, some uh, some imagery for videos, which it didn't work. Um, yeah, this is uh, some of what, what our content artists have been doing to research the theme and feel of the God Wars 2 dungeon. Yeah, and um, if you wanted to see more of that, um, we have on our YouTube, we have uh, a sort of a five or ten minute video on our YouTube channel, which has got... Um, 12 minute video. 12 minutes, sorry. Uh, Mod Deg uh, showing you through some of the God Wars environments. So... Um, Make sure you tune into that if you're interested in God Wars. Modney is mocking the fact that I said the hexagon. I am quite blind and it is quite far and away it, for us. And we say this every time, but John is also French. So we, we use that as a fallback for I most don't have, of the I stuff. I don't have really excuse sex. It's the same word. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to Gordon, protect you so. here, John. I know. Thank you. But I, sometimes I just can't, I can't rely on my Frenchness to save me. <laughs> but um, so <laughs> we, we, we showed... I'm just going to get my baguette and my... Uh, yeah, your onions. My stripy shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so um, the onions, it's garlic, isn't it? Mm. I no, too, I think. Well, yeah, true. But <laughs> um, so the um, we showed some God Wars silhouettes uh, a couple of weeks ago, and um, Blackland, the resident uh, Reddit paint MS Paint champion. I think he's a contender for you as well. Like well, MS I mean, I, he, he does he does try and challenge me for my mad paint skills supremacy. Yeah, and I think he does a really good job. So these it. are the silhouettes of the bosses that we've shown. So since then, we've shown the full version of these, but these were kind of teasers that we wanted to show to get your imagination going. And this worked for Blackland, who got his imagination going, came up with this. Uh, yeah, so there's <laughs> Jester with uh, Shackrams. That is brilliant. I mean, that should be the boss. Yeah. You've got the Shawnee Sh the Gobi. Shawnee the Gobi boss. Instead of, uh, instead of a Dragon Rider. I mean, I think it should be a Gobi now. They should just change it. I wanted them to do a Gobi boss for the next race. Yeah, it has to be a Gobi boss <laughs> next time. Um, uh, there's a, I think it's a Chi is it a Chimera? It's a Chimera of some sort. The Chimera yeah. would have a... It's a Diamond Lieutenant, but with wings. Anyway. And double necks. Double which, necks uh, wielding Drygors. <laughs> which is, again, incredible. So well done, Blackland. Um, <laughs> to be fair, double necks would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Because like, to follow on, God War Dungeon 1 is one neck, God War Dungeon 2 is two necks. Just twice as hard. <laughs> hard mode necks. Hard mode necks. Yeah, is, there we that go. Is hard mode necks would there be we just go. Like two necks in the same room. Yes. Um, so uh, as, as well as God Wars 2, we also have the God Wars 2, uh, or Tales of God Wars 2, or Tales of God Wars even. Um, which is uh, a, a sort of a follow-on bit of content which kind of helps open up the lore as well as giving you some reputation boosting items and also some e XP as well uh, and it kind of needs uh, leads nicely onto God Wars 2 so if you've not done that yet yeah. make sure you do there are a few really challenges useful. to do in it I mean uh, my personal character isn't very high level because I haven't been playing for that long I've been playing for about three years mm. and I, I went to fight Barrows because of this, mm. and I didn't. I had no hope of being able to defeat them. I was like, oh, I'm just going to die, and I actually did. And I was really happy with it. I mean, that for you guys, that's probably going to sound so, really, really newbie, but I was really happy about that. So Mod John's going to be taking on the QBD challenge next time, then. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yep. Oops. Yep. Uh, so and also um, as well as that, we have our community event as well, which is going live on Thursday. Yes. Uh, so this community event is um, going to be. So how, how do we describe it? It's similar to the, the Rabbling, Lumbridge sort of uh, Rebuildathon and also the Sword of Radlin. So essentially you're going to have your own progression and community progression and you'll unlock rewards compared to different progressions. So for example, if the community unlocks 50% of the rewards and you unlock 100, you'll only be able to get the 50% of rewards. So you have to kind of work together to get all the rewards, which is a nice idea, I find. Yeah. Especially for this thing where it's essentially around building stuff. So 
which requires a team effort, which is nice. Yeah, and um, we'll be showing a, a teaser for we'll the, a teaser for um, this uh, the, towards the end. Yeah, the reward that you can get, sort of the, the best reward that you can get um, towards the end of the stream. So stay tuned. Um, invention. Yeah, so we did release invention. Uh, <laughs> <we> thanks, <laughs> thanks for that useful bit of information, John. Well, we did since. Since the last Good Morning Good Morning, yep. Inventions, that yeah, is useful true. because it is pertinent. Thank yep. you. Anyway, uh, and Invention is a skill that we're going to be releasing over the course of the year, or years even. It's going to be constantly uh, evolving. So what you see now is not going to be the same right, as what you see in six months' time. There'll be much more to it. Um, so yes, uh, day before yesterday, we released some, uh, some of our first skidding perks. So we could, you can now augment uh, fishing and woodcutting items. Yeah. And you can also remove your hatchet from your tool belt, so that's including dragon and crystal, which is brilliant. Uh, I, I'm happy about that because yeah. I've been asking for that for years. And you can get the fishing rod o -matic as well. Fishing rod o -matic, which, which is nice. sounds amazing. <laughs> I like the name. I love the name. I love the name. But yeah, that's kind of the first of our, uh, our sort of journeys into skilling, and there will be many more, I'm, I'm sure, over the course of the rest of the year as well. Journey into skilling, that should be a title of a stream or something. Mod Shawnee's journey into, into skilling. skilling. Yeah, but um, mining. I think we wanted to do in this one, but the mining code was really, really complex. Yeah, so it, it was planned. It's just that there's a lot of um, different code that you need to touch to be able to get into mining and to put skilling into it. So I think they are working on it as we speak. It's yeah. just the case of it takes more time. Yes, um, but um, we have some cool stats for yeah, you. Yeah, so for, a lot of you've been asking for stats. So every time on the Dev Q and A thread or whatever. Uh, I see people asking for invention stats, and I'm sorry I haven't been able to provide them yet, but here they are, here are some yep. of them at least. So. Okay, so since the st uh, skill has been released, and this is as of Monday, uh, we have uh, 9,420.99s in invention, uh, we have 2,661 120s, and we have 113 200 mil accounts, which I, I beggars belief for me. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't quite know how people have had the time to be able to do that, but then again, I suppose. Um, yeah, well, it's been out uh, a few. It's been out a couple of months now. Yeah, so it's true. It's true. Um, but we also have uh, the total amount of XP that has been earned in in invention yeah, is eight hundred thirteen billion eight hundred twenty six million three hundred eighty two thousand seven hundred and fifty seven XP, well and that's done. as of Monday. Um, James does maths good. James does math good. <laughs> com. Uh, and uh, there have been a hundred thousand players who have ever trained invention. Which is, uh, which is really encouraging for us to see. And uh, each day, just shy of about 50% of pl paying members, uh, playing members even, but I suppose paying as well because it is a members only skill, yeah. uh, are invention eligible. Um, so they have 80 divination, 80 crafting, and 80 smithing. Nice. So that means there's still 50% of people who can aspire to go to the Inventors Guild, which is nice. Yes. Me included. <laughs> yes. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much what we've got for invention. But as we said, there will be more, lots of things that get added to the skill as the, uh, the course of the year. Um, we're at what, I think that was 1.2, I think we're calling it. or one. Yeah, it was one, that, that was 1.2, but I don't really understand their kind of... No. Their, so their, their, their coding. We might get 1.2.1 1. or 1. Yeah. 1.3 or 1.4 over 1. the course 1. of the year. 1.7.6.5.2. So. Yeah. So, yeah. Confirmed. <laughs> but um, Chronicle. Yeah. Chronicle is the next thing Last we're bit of about. Uh, news. Chronicle, uh, actually today, is going into open beta early access. So the people who play uh, Chronicle in closed beta will have access to open beta I right so now. Excited. I'm so happy because <laughs> like, my lunch times have been feeling so void. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm so happy that we've, we're finally going to be able to play again. I'm so happy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so today, we're going to be able to play, uh, so the people who had um, access to enclosed beta, next week, next Wednesday, it will be open to everyone. So open beta will be open to everyone. So th there is a reason for this, I think, as well. It's because we also want to kind of stress test the, uh, the game yep. in open beta to make sure it will work for everyone. So that's why like, there's a week's delay. Yep. And plus, it's nice to give the people who uh, helped us identify a lot of different issues uh, a chance to uh, play a game as a bit of an avant-premiere. Yes. What, um, so what, what additional features will there be? In so, the, oh, there's loads. The um, so if you've seen the game like a month ago, you've just seen like the, the game challenge, like the 1v1 uh, challenging system. Uh, now there's a skilling system, basically, where you can complete different uh, challenges in-game. So for example, it would be like kill five Dagonoth kings, uh, five Dagonoth cards. Uh, and you'll earn a title or you'll earn some skilling XP. So basically, you'll be able to unlock emblems and titles through that. There'll be dungeoneering next week, so that's not going to be in today. That'll be next week. So dungeoneering is kind of a new 
draft, draft mode. Draft mode-ish. It, yeah. But it's not really a draft mode because it's it's like a it's a bit weird. It's not exactly a draft mode, but it's still a draft mode. But anyway, it, for people who, who know what a draft mode is, that's what it is. If not, basically, it's you create a deck and you don't actually play your deck. You kind of pit your deck against someone else. Yeah. Uh, in in a dungeoneering setting, so that can give you an idea. I haven't actually seen it yet, so I don't. I I'm, I'm not 100 sure of what I'm it is. I'm excited to try it. I'm excited to try it as well. Um, but also, uh, for those of you who haven't played it in a while, Vanescula is also a new hero as yeah. well. Um, some of you might have tried her because I think that we unlocked her sort of a week before we went we did, into yeah. sort of our, our testing stage. But um, if you haven't tried her, she's really cool. Um, she manipulates her health. Uh, yeah, to try she's, and she's very much the glass cannon. So uh, on stream last week, we showed off one of her, like one of her signature decks, which is uh, get down to under th under 15 health. So she, in Chronicle, you get 30 health as a as a standard. Get under 15 health, and when Vanessa is under 15 health, she deals more damage with certain of her cards. Yeah, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah. Um, we'll be doing a, a marathon stream uh, on launch day. Um, which is next Wednesday. Which is next Wednesday uh, for Open Beta. A week from today, I think. A week today. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll be doing uh, all kinds of cool stuff in that marathon stream. So make sure you're tuning into the RS Chronicle Twitch channel. And we're also doing a stream this evening if you want to find out, find out more about uh, Chronicle in a whole, as a whole, really. Yeah. This is going to be a more hard hitting stream with uh, more information, I'm thinking. Yeah. And tomorrow we're doing a uh, morning stream for Chronicle, so from 11 p.m. with Mod Merchant and myself. So if you're interested, you've always got the possibility to find out what Chronicle is. Yep. Okay, cool. So we are going to get more Shawnee onto our sofas in about a minute's time. But first up, to give him it by way of introduction, here's what happened when he tried to make a dragon. <laughs> oh my, I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted by... This is just ridiculous. Look at this. We've got three people following me, so that means that all the colours come together. We've got two people who are trying to war balloon me. <laughs> We're not very good at this, are we? <laughs> oh no, we lost our butts. <laughs> <We've laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Oh, this is killing me. Actually killing me. We got, we got, who <laughs> still throwing war balloons at me. <laughs> you guys, we're meant to make the biggest dragon ever. <laughs> this is actually unbelievable. This, I, this is everything I wanted it to be. The most brilliant, look at this dragon. You couldn't tell he's not a dragon, right? We have random dragon heads, body. This is somewhat working, I guess. How come you guys make it work with Toxic Hug? Well, it's, it, well, it did work, and then <laughs> everyone just collapses into themselves. Oh my gosh, man. Come on, guys. Oh my. <laughs> you got a random tail. <laughs> This is, I don't even know what this is anymore. This was attempted to be a dragon. This is just a <laughs> totally We are really not good at this, are we? Yeah, my dragon is a bit broken. I have no, uh, genuinely, this is the most fun I've had on a RuneScape stream. It's the little things. It is literally little things that make me laugh, and this is one of them. This is brilliant. Also, I've lost my party hat. There we go. Let's get it back. <laughs> Shawnee, you've lost your party hat. <laughs> Where is your party hat? Oh, uh, we, we welcome Rod Shawnee to the sofa. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. Um, so, Rod Shawnee, you have come onto the uh, Good Morning Gillenor sofas for one reason, and one reason only, and that is to take on the might of QBD in our speedrun challenge. I was just looking for his party hat because it is somewhere in this room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't um, find it. Taking on QBD is um, an interesting challenge. Um, after seeing the other mods give it a go and knowing that my PBM skills are not really up to scratch, so to speak, I've got a lot to learn. Um, to be fair, we, did kind, of we did kind of pile this on you at the last minute. Yeah. It, was like, it, was a, it was a bit, bit sudden, but it's like fine. Friday, he didn't know about it because he was uh, off on, ho on, uh, on holiday. Oh, and we told him via WhatsApp. Off. But, we, yeah, we he was, <laughs> he was so, the message goes, uh, so Shawnee, you went for QPD. And my reply was, oh God. And then JD <laughs> goes, I'll take that as a yes then. And that was it, really. So, um, but 
in your like to, to to make you not lose heart, John uh, John C, my John C, who did it last time, so that he wasn't really a PVMer either, and he is currently top of our leaderboard. Yeah. So don't lose hope. Don't it lose was, hope. It was very much a fluke from what I gathered because he was just like <laughs> at, at the end he was like, oh, well, <laughs> well, I should do it again because I don't think I deserve that. I didn't do that well. I'm like, yes, you did. It's fine. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, I mean, by word of introduction, what, Shawnee, what, who, who are you and what, what do you do at Jack? Who doesn't know who you are? Well, that's um, true, but... So, basically, to sum it up, I work in a community management team, so I work with John, JD here, uh, Kalea, Nina, Mahi, and Balance. Um, haven't missed anyone, no. Um, basically... Ronan, Ronan and Connor? Uh, yeah, yeah, but like, uh, on RuneScape 3, Ronan and then imagine. obviously yes, Ronan on imagine. Old School and... Um, and Merchant Mod on voice. Chronicle, Mod Voice. Mod Voice. Uh, Mod basically, voice. to sum it up very quickly, it's uh, and, like for community management, it's just about um, you know engaging and trying to make you guys, um, trying to respond to you guys about issues you might have, or trying to like help you out wherever we can. It can be at times be tough, but that is the beauty of it, because obviously the reward is obviously trying to give you the guys the, the response you guys want, and then obviously making your day and stuff. And you're also kind of our Reddit champion. Yeah. You uh, you. Uh, Comb Reddit on a minutely basis, I'd say. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a frequent amount. So let's put it that way. <laughs> so it, we, we, we sometimes we sometimes get uh, messages in our in our CM WhatsApp our community management WhatsApp at like two o'clock in the morning. Sean, he's found something that's that needs to be addressed and pops well, into Reddit funny. and and uh, and answers and <laughs> looks a little bit tired in the morning. So he is he is the real MVP, guys. He is he the is real MVP. MVP. Um, yeah, but Kappa one two three for Shawnee in the chat, please. Yes, but um, but shall we get on to the good stuff? Shall we get on to your yeah let's attempt do it. <laughs> attempt <laughs> attempt? No, no, I, I do you a disservice. You did really, really well. Um, I'll let obviously the the pictures tell the story. But how did you find it? You said yourself you're not a PBMer. Not a PBMer. Um, basically, it's kind of tough because um, if I had, I, I learned about obviously the artifacts and obviously taking on the QPD. Um, in my limited experience, obviously trying to make sure I had the appropriate spells and prayers on, such as uh, you know soul split and everything else, uh, I tried to do well. Um, there are a couple times where I do make a mistake, and pretty like some obvious mistakes, and everyone in the chat will probably be more than happy to point out my PVM mistakes, but it should be mentioned obviously that this isn't like best of class gear, hence why the times are not like optimum. This yeah, is yeah. a gear that's been dead, like specifically chosen for this challenge as well. There's yeah, definitely something we have to kind of mention. So uh, yesterday we showed the, t the leaderboard on the dev and everybody was saying, oh, two minutes and stuff, that's like... Two minutes. I think Mod Timber did like three minutes or something. Uh, Mod Jara is at the bottom at three thirty-six. Yeah, but so, and Mod Jara isn't a PVM. He's a law hound. Um, so yeah, I think it's important to say that this gear is uh, not optimized for QBD. Uh, obviously, someone who goes in with a tier nineties uh, and he'll obviously rinse this quite fast. Just listening to my wonderful commentary in the background there. So yeah, this is why I almost died because I, I decided oh. to double run into the the fire there. So oh, I, wow. I tried, really I tried nice to, to so there. tried to surge, and, and my surging so is not the best. We, I have we, to say we do find that some people actually um, decide to take a slightly more conservative route and try not to like die. Some people just literally go headfirst into the fire mm -hmm. just to try and make sure that they get the quickest time possible. Because you were trying to do it under pressure, did you find that you did stuff that you would have done differently? It, it's uh, so the thing is, is like I, I try to bank on the fact my super anti fire would help me with the uh, with the the flame. I got really lucky there, so QPD went into a blue uh, into the blue uh, variant, which allows me to do more range damage. However, because I used Death Swiftness too late, it was a waste, and I accidentally used my double shot here because I had it queued up and I really shouldn't have. So I could have kept my double shot for QPD and got a little bit better time there, but. Uh, it didn't quite work out that way, but um, this is where obviously the kill's coming up to the end here. So I take down QBD for the uh, fourth time and then take out that artifact and then that's it. But To be fair, I was really impressed with your surging because uh, out of all the people who have taken part in this, I think you've done the best surging in it. So you just like, surge straight to each crystal, which is really well done. But it's the mechanical part that unfortunately let me down. And I think someone mentioned in the chat, like maybe I shouldn't have used Revolution. Maybe I should have just used like straight up, um, and like, straight up to it. And, and there we it. go. Really? There you go. So, I'd put in our original schedule and and our our original scripts that we might need about five minutes for that. <laughs> so actually, uh, I think you've done a very that very look. good job. That Shawnee look. <laughs> that Shawnee look. I, I feel like that might be that someone someone grab a screen grab of that. Thanks for that, JD. That's the look uh, that we get every time we kind of either say a bad joke to Shawnee or something. It's like that look there. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is our current leaderboard, and as you can see at the top of it, Mod John C, John C two twenty seven, uh, and we have Mod GR at the bottom three thirty six. So Shawnee. Two twenty nine. Where would two fifty two? Where would you be happy? I just want to be under three minutes. That's the key for me. Um, so, I, I, so that will put you uh, sort of in this the, general if area. If I could be here. there, I'd be pretty happy. The the whole point of it is is that. It didn't look that slow, although obviously when uh, I, I did it, it felt slow, but there's a difference between obviously doing it but compared to watching it, which kind of sounds weird, but um, I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm kind of hoping for that. So you've got some pretty big PVMers in this list. I mean, Mod KOZ and Mod Manti, they're pretty hard I think hitting. Mod Manti's more of a PvP -er, to be fair. Okay, okay. But, yeah. but um, I can reveal that you actually did it in uh, two minutes. Which and nice. 33, so that puts you... <laughs> <laughs> you can we, can we do that again? That Beautifully yeah. done on the present. Awesome. Budget, budget stuff. Did it in 2.33, awesome. so well Good done, Mosh Sean. You are budget. third yeah. on our leaderboard. Awesome. Way to represent our team, Shawnee. Thank you very much yeah. for that. You are the first CM representative on there, and you have done us proud, mate. You have yeah. done really, really well, well there. Um, and as I say, you, you're up against some pretty high uh, competition in there, so good job. Good job. Um, if you guys have any questions for uh, Mod Shawnee, put them in the chat now and we will ask them in our quick fire questions. Yeah. Oh God, quick fire. Yes. And Timber obviously these. has a tree next to it. Yeah, <laughs> tree Timber. QB tree. He took on QB tree. He took so. on QB tree. So if you want to look at it, it's on, the, <laughs> it's on our YouTube channel. You'll see Timbo take on QB tree. QB tree. That was an awesome uh, video ed editing skills from, uh, from me, actually. Yes. I'm not good at video editing <laughs> stuff. But um, yeah, well done again, Shawnee. Uh, we don't like to leave people without asking them some quick fire questions. So well, we say that, but every every well, people stay on now. Yeah. People used to leave the couch now. Yeah. Just, like, Why would they leave? The, the, the Other is, things so, to like, do. Like yeah, I mean, some people some people have work to do, Shawnee. Yeah, um, but, you know, <laughs> you're right. Okay, fair point. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. So we have some questions for you uh, and yeah. put them in the chat. Uh, Maud Kalea is on the chat today. She'll be taking some questions from you guys as well. So she'll put them in our screen in front of us so we can ask them as well. Um, so we'll, we'll get going. We've got about 10 or 11 for you. So uh, <laughs> we'll, okay. we'll start now. Yeah. Our traditional right? opener, uh, tea or coffee? Tea. Yes. Yes. Well done. You've just won <laughs> the whole I was expected around. to be, uh, I was expecting one or the other there and I was a bit scared there. Anyway, yeah. Fa favorite RuneScape God? <laughs> Oh lordy! Um, see, I, I prefer godless. I like. I don't uh, <laughs> smooth. <laughs> like I'm not affiliated with a god. If there was one, it'd be Gobi's. Obviously, okay. Gobi God. That's Gobi an god interesting. Things. Interesting. By the way, not confirmed. Just to clarify, but if it was Gobi God, I wish. Okay. <laughs> JD or John? <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! Be careful Thank with you. this careful. one. <laughs> Can I not just say the best of both worlds? No. Why? Oh, this peer pressure is unbelievable. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm sorry, John, JD. <gasps> All right. You're always okay. my favourite, Shawnee. next question You're in spite, You're always my favourite. Sir. Okay. Um, your hair or your job? <laughs> my job? <No>. <laughs> what? <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> John, John's gone off beast here. Okay, Xbox I will get back. Xbox or PlayStation? I will get... Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Xbox, because I've never really had a PlayStation uh, in the new generation of consoles. So okay. Which Harry Potter house would you belong in? Gryffindor. That's why you prefer JD. <laughs> Half a puff all the way. Anyway. Oh, awkward. <laughs> why awkward? Uh, What's your current gaming fix? Uh, the Division. Um, but I'm somewhat trying to find time to play it. But honestly, um, it sounds like very biased and very like I'm trying to suck up to everyone. But like, honestly, I do spend a lot of time just trying to read and trying to keep on top of things and just replying to people or whatever. But yeah, that. Uh, melee ranged or magic? Ranged. Favorite quest? <laughs> uh, it's uh, a pirate variation. And for some reason, I've always been able to answer this question in my SC and now it's completely slipped my mind. Um, it's to do with drunk pirates. Um, Something Ahoy. I can't remember the name of it. Ghost, oh, it's horrendous. Ghost Ahoy? Ghost Ahoy? Uh, not, no, it's not even that. I'm sorry. Um, oh, Rum Deal. That's the Rum one. Deal. Rum oh, Deal. Sorry. Okay. Okay. This isn't really quick fire. No, bad. it's not very really quick fire. It doesn't matter. Sorry. What's your favourite update of the last year? It's going to be Gobies. The addition it? of Gobies. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> but not the addition of Gobies Fallen Over. That was the best for me. <laughs> That's my favourite update of the last year. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> nice. Just, uh, would you rather be without elbows or knees? Without elbows. Okay, but you couldn't game very easily <laughs> as long as I can walk. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. So we've got uh, a couple from the chat. So Crazy Shaking, is he getting a party hat haircut anytime soon? Oh, no, no. Um, I admire Kelpie's um, drive for charity. Uh, I'd love to say yes, but no on that one, unfortunately. I can probably guess who has asked this question. Do you like camels? I'm going to guess that's Cyrus. <laughs> uh, I don't mind camels, I guess. I'm sure I like them. I've got no, I've got no hate against they're them. They're quite similar to gobies, to be fair. Yeah, but they, they, they both have like the hump slash rock on them. They don't fall the over. Oh, yeah. You could do camel tipping. Camel next tipping. Time. <laughs> camel tipping. Uh, what's your first 99? Uh, the first 99 I got was on the very first RuneScape stream I did, which was 99, which uh, before I got it, Mod Osborne, and I quote, I said, that's oh, an Ubi skill, uh, but congrats anyway. You didn't say, you said that your first night. That's why I'm trying not to say it. My first night now was fight making. Fight making, of course. Well done. What was your reaction when you first uh, heard you were working in the RuneScape community? Um, oh, wow, that's a good question. Um, it's kind of one of excitement, but a, a little bit of like nerves because obviously when you join um, a community team and obviously on a product that you've not worked on before, you want to try and make an impact and try and get yourself out there and try and you know, hopefully um, players will like you in that sense. Um, so it, it was kind of nervous, but like fast forward two months, and it's crazy to think I've only been here for two months because time really has gone by a little bit uh, fast, but also slow at the same time. But it's, it's been great fun. It really has. Cool. Uh, what faction did you play in Castle Wars? Uh, I actually go on Gaffix, so I like Gaffix to decide what I go for. Cool. Uh, so I tried to balance it accordingly. Borksy asks, what's your favourite? Who's your favourite NPC? Gobi. <laughs> Which Gobi? Which one? There are plenty. Oh. I, like, I personally like the ones that are named okay. after One Direction. Uh, uh, but <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love uh, Bricks. Bricks. That's one of it. your Bricks uh, secret shames, isn't it, to be a One Direction fan? <laughs> I don't even like One Direction. I just like the fact that they're named after One Direction. I love uh, Bricks. I think Bricks is a really cool little uh, Gobi cool. NPC, personally. Really cool. Cool. Uh, what's your favourite uh, skill? Favorite skill, uh, well, well I'm not, uh, not going to say fire making, it was 5.59. I do enjoy ranged. Um, I think range is a, a nice uh, variance for me. Um, I, 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 I have a lot of respect for players, obviously, stick to either uh, major or melee, but for me, it's like trying to uh, uh, whittle down the enemies with range. Okay. Uh, okay. And finally, uh, can Mud Shawnee say happy birthday to my money? My money or mummy? Money. I guess that's money. 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 money with two eyes. Happy birthday, even though I know exactly where that one's going. <laughs> There's also one in the chat saying, uh, would you prefer to be community manager of the Gobies or community manager of RuneScape? Gobies. Sorry, guys. You fired. Heard it here first. <laughs> you fired. Gobies. And we're going to manage the community of Gobies and then get them to invade Gilanor. And, and I've cool. kind of been doing that in my stream, so it's going well. Well done. So that's us done for our quick fire questions, Shawnee. Uh, would that you like. It wasn't very quick. It wasn't very quick, Admittedly, but it, wasn't very it was quick an in depth all. interview, let's put it like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Would you like to stay on the sofas for a little bit longer, Shawnee? Yeah, of course. Or? Yeah, okay, honest. cool. Well, we'll keep you on the sofas. We've got a video now for you. This is the Real Scapers uh, with some unnecessary censorship. Um, and we've got community. Corner? Community corner, that's what we call we've it. Community, community corner. corner just after. We actually have forgotten a, a section about Shawnee, so we might be able to. Yeah, we might have to talk about that a little bit later. We, we've fine. had enough Shawnee for the time being. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's have uh, some more escapers video. If you fair. have any videos that you'd like to send us uh, that you think we could feature on Good Morning Gillen or next time, email us at community at jagex.com. Ziske being a theatrical dramatic type, he's a bit disappointed that no one's talking about his con, and so he's made an obvious, unavoidable advert for it. So as the god one another, we will see this immediately presented on the God Swordboard. So we, what we you may all not know is right now, just to show off, Mod Shogun, who's just off shot, if we could just cut <laughs> to his screen, has decided to f***ing <laughs> Raxor, uh, <laughs> and isn't listening to us, just f***ing <laughs> Raxor. <laughs> In this quest, Nomad has been up to something a bit naughty. He's been f***ing <laughs> all of the souls from the underworld. That's everyone who died all across Gilanor. He is f***ing their souls and using them for some nefarious reason. So we're just going to show a little God f***ery. I think that's a phrase. God curry. So, Ooh. would you prefer a f***ing boss? We haven't necessarily specified that it is a koala. It might be a koala. It's whether or not we feel that fits the Eastern lands. No. Get away, run away. <laughs> you can't retreat. No, 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 no. I don't know why have you put on defensive combat style. Leave me alone. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Mod Ronan, you are sh you are yes. we and we got, know you're watching. We got so. you into a lead and you lost it all. You lost it all, Ronan. Well done, Matt Kay. Uh, just the basics to be able to f*** the dragon. So this is not, we're not going for the most 
awesome times in the world. We're just going for an even challenge for every JMOD. Yes, and so it's a really a, a check of skill, really. It's a, it's a, it's yeah. a task that requires a lot of um, skill to be able to deal with things that you haven't maybe necessarily done in a long time. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of JMODs have taken this on, have told me that basically they haven't in a long time. Probably you included, I think. Yeah, it was a bit of a weird experience for me to do it. <coughs> <laughs> so at the end there you can see Zap from the real scapers giving you a thumbs up. Uh, oh my. <laughs> you should wow. have heard some of the uh, the strangled laughter that was in the studio when that was on. It wasn't really strangled. We, we also like that because they did feature Good Morning Gillenaut in it as well. So thank yes. you real scapers. Thanks, real scapers. Thank you. Uh, well, we do feature them quite often on Good Morning Gillenaut. Yeah, so so. Uh, um, how do you say that in English? Re reciprocal. There you go. Reciprocal. Anyway, yeah, that's a good word. Enough with the words. All the words today. All the words. Uh, let's move on to our What's community your word corner. What's the day, Girl beast. <sighs> what? <laughs> let's move on to community <laughs> corner, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've got some some cool things that have been going on in the community. So, uh, got a few pictures to show you. So, the first one is from Avenger Volder, and this is a puzzle oh, wow. box that he's made. So, Mod Doctor will be proud of this because uh, Mod Doctor's been a uh, working on some things that are similar to this, and he'd be very proud yep. to see his puzzle box in action. And this was found on Tumblr, so if you go to vengavolder.tumblr.com, you can find out more of their creations. And they've done some other really cool um, IRL RuneScape creations as well. I think there's a, um, oh, I can't remember the type of book, uh, but Virtus book, I think, in there, oh, cool. um, which is really cool as well. Um, so check that out. Um, we also have, uh, from Tanglepath, and Tanglepath's also on Tumblr, tanglepath.tumblr.com, uh, an awesome image of Celestial Dragon. Um, oh, wow. Well. Yeah, that's brilliant. Which is brilliant. And they are, they've done, recently done a court beast as well, which is, which is great, um, which I think I put on our Instagram well, that's account yesterday. Well, stream. I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, really cool. So Maximus Guru is next with his uh, interpretation of Sliske, which is uh, a bit of a parody of the Joker. Very yep. nice indeed. Uh, and then why so sliskyus? I should say why so sliskyus? So and then next, which is one of my favourite things that I think I've ever seen, uh, is a RuneScape wedding cake, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> <laughs> life goals. I think life yeah. goals, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And that was found by uh, who was it found by Benjamin Rapp on the RuneScape Facebook group. I'd uh, say poor bride. To be fair, it's <laughs> like trying. Having to drag her, try and drag him away. Yeah, anyway. brilliant. Yeah, no, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. So uh, we d we did that. Uh, then also there is a player gallery live, and we have oh, a nice prop it. for this. So how would you like to win something like this? So this is a real life dragon fire shield that we've been that we are going to give away, or has been already oh, given away. Sorry. To, <laughs> Um, I, can't, I don't know who got who won this, but we've already given this away. Yeah, this is for our winter sweepstake competition, yeah. so um, we'll be sending this out to the winner very shortly. Um, but we want to keep it for prop purposes because it looks flipping awesome. Mm. So um, the winner of the player gallery uh, this month um, will be winning something similar to this, but they will be winning a God Wars themed item. Yeah. Uh, we haven't specified what it is yet um, because. I think they want to keep it a secret. Because God Wars, really. Because God Wars, really, yeah. So, um, oh, there we go. Hey. Um, but yes, you can win one of those, so check out the player gallery on... <laughs> got something in his teeth. <laughs> um, check it out on our forums. Uh, <laughs> check it out on our forums, please. <laughs> I don't uh, believe it anymore. It's on the events and competitions forum, um, so you can see the theme in there and also how you can get involved. Um, we're hoping for some really, really high quality entries this time, so... Um, Take, give, it, give it as much time as you possibly can do. I think it closes at the end of the month, so you've got about two weeks or so. Yeah. Next up, here's a teaser. So we promised to show you the two next God Wars Dungeon Armors. So here you have all four oh. of the ones that will be released. Yep. So you have Siren, Zamorak, Zaros, and Sliske. The last one is the base model that all of them are kind of designed on, so just to give you an idea. Um, each of these have different... Um, Types so one of them's magic, one of them's range, one of them's melee, one of them's hybrid. So the Siske one, which is the one with the white mask and green details, is uh, the hybrid. The Zaros one, which is just next to it with the dark blue and gold, is uh, combat. So um, uh, melee. Sorry, forgot the word there. 
Uh, so that's melee. I do not know which one of the two others is ranged and uh, magic. I'm going to guess that uh, Zamorak is going to be magic and Siren is going to be yep. ranged. But you so will find out more about those in next week's developer Q&A because uh, we will be showing you the final couple actually in game, which is uh, yeah, really we'll exciting. Off, uh, we'll also be showing off the two bosses next week. Um, not any very core cool mechanics. We'll just show the bosses themselves, their rooms, to give you a bit of a tea to see what they look like. Uh, yesterday we saw some of their entry animations, like the dragon one was absolutely awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, if you want to see that entry animation, I think Mod Shawnee tweeted out on our Twitter account yesterday. Yeah, so um, you can go on um, our RuneScape Twitter account and you will see a quick video of them entering. One of Grigorovich, if that's how you say it properly, and uh, Vindicta, um, both of them entering into the uh, dungeon. And of course you can watch the past broadcast of the stream that happened yesterday on the dev Q&A, so you can check that out as It'll well. It will also be on YouTube it's like, very soon. So it's sometime. like we've prepped Shawnee for this. <laughs> it's like we've prepped him. Um, but we haven't. Another <laughs> teaser for you, um, and this is coming your way quite soon, uh, and Vanescular's army is starting Ooh, to wow. assemble. Over uh, Canifis. Over Canifis. So uh, we will leave that mysteriously and go swiftly on to our so this next. Is, this, team. Is a, this is a second image oh, I was well, sent. Maybe we won't. The first one I was <laughs> sorry. The first one of this I was sent. Uh, I quote Mod Joe, who said to me, "I can't really show that because it's a too much of a spoiler." Sorry, that's from the. Uh, oh, there oh, we go. There, there we go. go. So this is the oh, one we I can could, show. Th it. This is one I could show, but there's another one that was a bit of a, a different shot, and he said, "I can't show that one. It's too much of a spoiler." So. Uh, there you go, it gives you a bit more of an idea. Gotcha. So, uh, yeah, then we move on to our next teaser, which is for the um, Heart of Gillenor encampment event, which goes live on Thursday, so which tomorrow. is... tomorrow. Yep, yeah, which is to build up towards the God Wars 2 dungeon opening. Um, so uh, these are hand cannons. Inspired by Virago. Yes. I believe it's an, uh, the, this is an award for the 100% in the community. No, it's 10%. It's 10%, yes, so apologies. It's 10%. 10%. So this is the 10% reward, which uh, is a level 70 weapon. Uh, once you unlock more rewards, which is the tier, like if you unlock 20 or 30%, I can't remember, you'll be able to, uh, uh, to uh, increase the level of these. Uh, weapons and they look pretty cool. So that's what Mod Krista has told me about this. Yeah, look really nice. Yeah, uh, and now we move on to one of my favourites. It's the bug of the month. Bug of the month. Bug of bug the, of the month. month. Uh, we need to come up with a theme tune for that. We do. That is <laughs> our kind of that is our <laughs> ongoing theme tune. But it doesn't yeah. really work, does it? No, we need to uh, we need to come up with a bug of the month theme tune. Let's but in the meantime, it and do, it in, uh, do it like as a, a quartet or something. Yeah. Get some like barbershop quartet. Barbershop style. quartet, yeah. bug of the month. Um, but this is bug of the month, and Easter is coming next week. Um, but uh, we feel like Mod Kelpie probably shouldn't be in charge of the coding. <laughs> so this is Mod Kelpie attempting to code, uh, and he put down slightly too many Easter bunnies. Yep, <laughs> slightly is an understatement. I, I feel. I do love how his test account is called Ninjarino, though. Yeah. I, I'm Ninjarino. a big fan of that. I'm a big Ninjarino. fan of Ninjarino. Um, so yeah, thank you Mod Kelpie. Keep coding, keep giving us bug of the month, that's great. Oh. Well, we should highlight these don't actually get into game, these are all <laughs> done in a test world and they're all filed out by our QA team before they go actually to yeah. release. Sure, Mike, you saw a bug that I accidentally made yesterday as well, didn't you? The I did, infamous, yeah. yeah. When trying to make Gobies fall over, I accidentally made a character stretch a little too far. <laughs> it's part yeah. of fun. So the body was here, the head was here, and the neck was here. <laughs> That is much Shawnee trying to code, so yes. yeah. <laughs> Let's just stick to our day jobs. Well, the thing is, yeah. Shawnee has got some things into game as well. He's put some, yeah. some coding into game, so yeah. fi be fearful, guys. Be fearful. Thanks. He, he is uh, actively fighting. If there was ever an opportunity over. to big up what the community manager... See, the community manager team not really care, but also get stuff into game, that was it. But you've just gone, nah, be fe fearful just in case something screws up. <laughs> so thanks for that. But you, you, you put in things like the, um, the Valentine's cards and... Turning everyone into gobies. Yeah, of course. You know, why wouldn't I? Charles Morgan into Gobies, he wouldn't <laughs> yeah, have that. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, I've got a nice shot of the uh, yeah, Dragon Fire cool. Shield with us right now. It's like, it's like the fourth member of the couch. I, He's I, the fourth Barbershop Quartet member. Oh, God. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, how, I think, how, I think how it'd how be the Dragon Fire member. Shield sing, though? I think it would probably be... Asking questions oh, of the somewhere. highest quality right now. How, yeah. how, would it, how would it sing? This is great TV right now. <laughs> TV? Oh. Internet TV. Internet TV. <laughs> Internet stream, TV. stream I've possibly. Never heard that term Is that before? what you call it? Yes. Oh, maybe. Uh, so, um, guys, I think that's about all we've we've got time for today. It is. Um, thank you again, Mod Shawnee, for taking on the QBD challenge and joining us on the sofas. Um, you are third in our leaderboard, and we'll be back next month to uh, to put an, pit another J Mod 
and put them on their list somewhere. I'm, I'm thinking it might be more be John. Me. It can't be me. I'm, I'm a host. I can't host and do this. What we did think of was maybe at the end of this competition, Mod JD and myself take it on at the same time live on, this, on the computer. We'd have a special extended four hour long stream <laughs> uh, for, so, for that one. Four uh, hours long to allow for us both to die quite a few times. Yes. Miserably so. in the QBD layer. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any content you would like to be featured on this stream, please email, it, email us at community at jx.com. Yep. Uh, please put on the subject title Good Morning Gillenor as well, so we know it's for Good Morning Gillenor. We'd love to see what you've got planned or anything that you are doing at the moment, which is creative. Like if you're a video maker, send us your videos. If you've got something that you want us to, to showcase on Good Morning Gillenor, send us it, send if it our way. If you're a baker, send us your oh, loads yeah, of bread. Oh yeah, that'd be great, yeah. But actually send them here, that's the yeah. best idea. Or some cookies, cookies always go down well. Yeah. <laughs> but um. <laughs> don't forget don't forget to tune in next week to the dev Q&A um, we'll be showing off the last two generals for God Wars Dungeon before it's released um, so you'll be meeting them for the first time and that's the Serum Boss and the Zamorak Bosses yes. uh, oh, nice. Bosses Bosses, bosses yeah. uh, so and the Chronicle open beta Chronicle goes into open beta next week um, if you've already played Chronicle you'll be able to play hopefully from about lunchtime-ish today um, so we haven't got a set, a set time no, though, so. no so it could slip um, but they're planning for lunchtime today, so make sure you get playing uh, if you are AFK skilling today. And for those of you who are interested in Chronicle, we do have a stream this evening, so be sure to tune in if you want to find out all the latest news about Chronicle. Yep. So uh, thank you once again for watching. Uh, you've been great. Um, we uh, will be back next month we'll with, back with next another month, edition yeah. of Good Morning Gillenor. It feels weird saying that, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I always want to say we'll be back next yeah. week. Yeah, I'd really want to do these more often, but there's so much preparation that goes into them each time. It's just not feasible anyway. Yes. It's our problems, not yours. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next time. Good morning, Gillenor. <laughs>